Yeah, no, it was great. Um, you know, obviously, it's always good to win, but I feel like, you know, everybody around the country was kind of waiting for us to win a game on the road here. And, I mean, I mean obviously, you know, we, we kind of felt that, that we needed to win something here on the road but eventually. And it's just good to have that because now, you know, we've got a week break till um, we got a really big game versus Texas. So I think it'll be good for us just to finally get some rest now um, and finally get that kind of monkey off your back for a second. Hunter, you mentioned it, but how much was not winning on the road in Big 12 play weighing on you? Uh, I mean, we were obviously aware of it because, I mean, not even through like social media and everything else, but just like uh, amongst the teammates and everything, knowing that you know, we haven't won on the road since Oklahoma State, and that was our only win on the road in the Big 12. So um, it was just good for us to come out here, and Oklahoma's a really good team. They're a top 25 team, and so um, I think that was really good on our resume, um, especially as we're trying to fight for, you know, in the Golden State here. Do you want to change for you guys defensively in the second half? I think Oklahoma only made four baskets. Uh, yeah, I get all the credit to the coaching staff. You know, they changed some stuff up with the bigs and KJ, and you know, that's we executed the defensive end, and you know, I think we held them to like 23 points, 25 points. So I think that was that was pretty good on their end. So now, what's it like at halftime when when the coaches are running through that stuff with you guys? Uh, it just depends how it is. Uh, we we kind of fought back, so it was we had good spirit, but. You know, coaches, they, the coaches are always trying to make us stay level-headed and not try to get too big of ourselves. And, you know, we just followed the game plan and executed. Uh, Hunter, Juan, Johnny's had a, a nice run, obviously, and playing pretty consistent since being the starting lineup. How did he do today? What have you kind of seen grow the last few um, I thought he played, um, you know, really within himself today. Obviously, he had some shots. But I think Kevin coming back helped him a lot because now he's back into that role where, you know, he can kind of play off others and he doesn't really have to try to facilitate. And I think... Right now, at this stage, that's great for him is just kind of, you know, playing off us and really just figuring college basketball, college basketball out still. And I think that um, you saw that out there today. I mean, he's a great rebounder and he's always flying in, getting extra rebounds for us and stuff like that. So he played all all around game today for sure. Well, how important was it for you guys to cut that deficit from 11 to five right before the half, just from a mental standpoint? Oh, uh, that helped us out a lot because you know they could have went on the run and. We went and could have went into halftime and they could have came out the second half, the first four minutes and blew us, off, blew us out in their home their home court. So I feel like we just we just dug in there. Uh Mari came in big minutes and you know, he got some, some rebounds in, some passes to uh Hunt. So we had some we had that little two minutes in the first half was uh, the last two minutes of the first half was a good whisper for us to help us out. Duan, you hit that three count and start that run in the second half. That ultimately was the difference in the game. What was working for you guys over those kind of three to four minutes where you started to pull away? Um, really, uh, just executing our plays. Uh, we ran a play for Hunt, and you know they kept leaving me because I, I was missing obviously in the first half. And my coaches and my teammates told me to keep shooting, be ready to shoot every time. And Hunt found he, he did, made a great pass and made a good pass, and I just acted on the shot, just kept my head up. So. For both of you guys, how big is it to have a, a week off before your next game? Very big. <laughs> yeah, no, it, it was good. Um, I think just for everybody's bodies. Uh, finally starting to feel pretty good. That's probably the best I've felt in about two months uh, with all the injuries I was dealing with. So I'm um, starting to feel good at the right time, I'd say. What did it mean to get Kevin back? Uh, a lot. A lot. You, know, you know, he's still... He's still going through some stuff, you know, he, but he's he's been fighting, you know, he's a tough player, so we trust him and, you know, coaching him, but trust him too, so we just got to keep him his head up high, because, you know, he's going through something right now, an uh, injury, so, you know, he's going to be all right, though. This, this whole week, he's going to probably get treatment, and, you know, he, he should be back 100% by uh, Saturday's game, so. Anything else?